okay so today what we are going to start is our recurrent neural networks and till now whatever we have seen so before going to talk about recurrent neural networks if i say that uh, that suppose that i have a network like this and this is my neural network it takes some input and it's going to give us some output this is our basic neural network whatever the thing that we have read till now now my point is that if i take input as i1 and fed it to my network and i have got an output as o1 fine and then i do something else and after a month same neural network if i take and give it i1 what we are going to get output of o1 that is why it is actually a deterministic model things are not going to be changed if it is fixed whatever is such a single function whatever the function that you have if input is same output is definitely going to be the same now just think about another type of network if i say it's an rnn this is for yeah it's been trained and fixed and saved and then i give i1 i got i o2 o1 and then after one month i have given again i1 same o1 has to be coming now my point is that if suppose that i have a i1 and if i give it at say t equal to 1 so at some point of time and i am getting o1 and the after some time again i have given i1 but now it is say tk what i am going to get is it o1 so i am saying that why it is always necessary to get a fixed output for a fixed input it's not always necessary there are things that cannot be modeled if <laughs> if at all things are completely static they has to understand that there is some relationship in time there is a series time series i am saying that first input is 5 what has to be the next thing it has said 9 it doesn't mean that whenever i input 5 it is going to say that it is 9 it depends upon at what time you are saying that it is 5 it is not that every time the next thing that you are going to predict or say that what is the output it's always going to be the same it will say that i have to understand that what is the context suppose that i am traveling and you came to me and say that sir i wanted to understand recurrent neural network i will say that see today i am i am in a meeting so wait for some time i will answer after that but suppose that i am free my answer will be different i will say that okay right now i am going to give you the answer i always have given this example like virat kohli that uh, rnn is actually like virat kohli so if you want to take an interview you will have to ask virat that i wanted to take an interview what is the output output is said yeah yeah i am happy and i am i wanted to give you an interview the reason was that india has won and things were very happy i mean he was very happy he scored century and because of that he was in happy mode and virat has said that yes i wanted to give you the interview next day again or two days after that somebody else meet i mean say i want to take an interview question remains the same network remains to be the same but the output is a no i am not free by because at that point of time probably he may not be happy uh, he got out uh, early and because of that he was he don't wanted to give the interview you want to predict these type of things it's not always that it things are not time dependent till now we have not discussed about the things which are actually time dependent apart from that 3d cnn but now i am saying that what i am speaking each and every word that i am going to speak is actually dependent upon what i have why what i have said till now in a book whatever is written in 15th page 6th line and 4th word is actually dependent upon whatever the thing that you have seen till now <coughs> inside a code whatever you have written there is a huge amount of dependency temporal dependency 
between whatever you are seeing at t and what you have seen up to now and how can i exploit this thing because because these types of network they do not have any type of mechanism by which they can understand that i have seen something at t i have seen something as t equal to 3 t equal to 4 or any type specific information they cannot hold because they do not have any memory at all now i want to have something which will understand the notion of the i have given one thing and that is why i used to call this guy as gajni they do not have any memory at all whatever your cnn or networks they see once this is a image of a cat it's not expecting that next image that you are going to show is having any relationship with this cat but here comes the another type of model which will say that whatever you are inputting this is my input it's the output is going to be dependent not only on this input but whatever i have seen till now and if you understand this type of relationship this is actually a temporal relationship the relationship which is existing in time and we require a proper mechanism that can handle this which is not being available in our previous things so this is actually a tutorial in which we are say i mean i'm saying that uh, uh, this guy i think louis his name is louis so these lectures i mean youtube tutorial is there so from there i am following this stuff so it started with the story which says that i have a perfect roommate and the reason why it's a perfect roommate is that he can cook so if you have a roommate who can cook it's actually a perfect roommate for you and he can he can cook apple pie and uh, burger and chicken three things he can cook he can cook food number 1 food number 2 and food number 3 three different of types of food it, it can cook and now try to understand because from neural networks and the basic neural networks we are going towards the recurrent neural network you will see the contrast between them so <coughs> so so his way of cooking is very easy it actually says that depending upon the weather i am going to cook if it is sunny and if it is say uh, weather like um, um, <coughs> rainy depending upon that it actually cooks things like this so if it is rainy i am going to cook apple pie sorry uh, uh, sunny i am going to cook ap apple pie otherwise i am going to cook burger clear So here I've got a neural network. Basically, I want to predict that what he is going to cook today. So, so it actually says that uh, given this neural network, before that, so what do you think that neural networks? What is the input of your neural network? Weather. So your neural network is going to say that this is my weather, and if this is your weather. your output is this and if this is your weather and your output is this a straight forward actually a mapping function if you have got you know sunny weather apple pie if it is a rainy you are getting a <coughs> burger it's fixed and a simple mapping that you have and by the way it's actually deterministic as well that whenever you see the weather you are whether you almost know that what is going to be your input uh, sorry output so let us model this simple thing and what is your expectation that is there any time dependency here <coughs> you think it's straight forward so you you have to think that whatever the thing that we are going to do we wanted to model this situation <coughs> that given a vector i wanted to know that what is going to be the food today this is a prediction that we wanted to have and our point is that there is no temporal relationship which essentially mean that simple things can actually work it's a simple mapping function so suppose that this is one hot encoding now we all know 100010 and 001 you keep on writing this stuff because it's going to be used in multiple so you have got apple pie burger and chicken and for apple pie it is 100 for burger it is 010 and for chicken it is 001 yeah three things and three so that's actually a three bit encoding and this is for weather by the way 
for weather you have got one zero and zero one because there are only two different types of weathers possible very simple now it comes that uh, neural network because you all understand that whatever the input that you are having everything has to be some sort of vector that is why we have said that this is going to be a vector representation so if my input is one zero your output is going to be z one zero zero yes Bharat. similarly zero one it has to be zero one zero so <clears throat> so what type of model that you can think simplest model or a mapping function that you can think which can take say 0 1 and convert into the corresponding burger or 1 0 and convert into a corresponding uh, apple pie what type of mapping function that you think of simplest yes yes append 0 to the but is it going to okay so you wanted to say that append 0 so is it the case same going to be the same for uh, other things or it is going to be scaled as well it may be possible only for this thing it has to be a proper you know a scaled up function not a mere addition or this one so if i say <coughs> this is a matrix for you and uh, if for this matrix if i give one zero 1 0 is actually for the weather you will get 1 0 0 can everyone see this why it is the case because this 1 0 so 1 and 0 it will go over here so it's a, it's going actually going to select it's actually going to select this thing because this is always 1 and 0 so this is always 1 so if you multiply then first column is going to be selected every time how it's being multiplied it is going to be multiplied like uh, you take one here and zero here this one comes here this zero comes here and first it got multiplied by this then it got multiplied by this then got multiplied by this and these are the three values that you are getting when you add both of them so because of this one what is happening that this is value is going to be selected here so this, this is the way by which you are selecting so there are what is being written over here is actually two set of foods and your input is going to select one of them and that is why you have got you know if it is say this otherwise zero one so other thing is going to be selected so which essentially mean that the two dimensional matrix is going to work for us it's a 2d matrix and uh, why it is like that as i have said that this is food number one this is food number two and you only have two these things first zero one zero and zero one so it will select the first food and zero one is going to select the second food and you are done it's simple mapping matrix multiplication so can i see this matrix multiplication this is actually the mapping matrix multiplication like this so can you see the neural network inside so you all have to you probably remember that fully connected layers are actually matrix multiplication so this is the same thing exactly happening over here you have got one zero zero and zero one zero this is actually the model this is actually the model that you have got how can you use this model and see what is actually the neural network which is behind that so this is your input and you all understand that why this is your input because your input is going to be a two dimensional matrix sorry two dimensional vector and this is going to be a three dimensional output three different values so that's the output for you <coughs> and can you see that what are these weights and how they are actually coming what are these weights and how they are actually coming so for this so you can see that's the fully connected network everything is connected to everything and few of them are actually one some of them are actually 
टू सो विच एसेंशियली मीन दैट दिस वैल्यू इज कनेक्टेड टू दिस दिस एंड दिस ऑल थ्री थिंग्स आर एक्चुअली कनेक्टेड That is why it's having three weights. And what are they? One, zero, zero. This is actually one, zero, and zero. Similarly, this is connecting this, this, and this. This is zero, one, zero. This is zero, one, and zero. Can you see this? Yeah. So this is actually the mapping function, and it's being incorporated a two-dimensional matrix. Essentially, you have to train a neural network like this. and these are actually the two <coughs> if i say that the input is going to be input is going to be for this thing input is going to be r2 and output that you are going to get is actually r3 transformation is happening and this is a basic simple neural network as you understand no dependency was there uh later what he is going to do is that those lines which are actually having zero weight he may not be drawing it. so if it is zero weight you essentially uh, understand that input is not affecting the output so just at at any neuron what you'll have to do at any neuron you are checking what are the things which are connected and multiply with the weight vector itself if the weight is zero things are not actually connected you assume it like that <coughs> so this is the basic thing that you can see and of a, of a, of a neural network and it works fine now now if i say that this perfect roommate now actually says that i can prepare apple pie burger and chicken in rotation see first i prepare apple pie and then i prepare burger and then i prepare chicken round round shape you can say keep on keep on doing it like this now here comes another thing that one should have to understand that if i tell you that what is the today's food if it is say chicken the next day you are going to get apple pie this is going to be apple pie to burger to chicken and then to so there is a relationship which is going to happen whatever the prediction that you have got same thing if i tell if i know that what is the prediction what i am what what is the prediction of the current input i can tell you that what is going to be my next food there is going to have some type of relationship so monday apple pie then burger then chicken then apple pie then burger then apple sorry chicken and so on so so what is going to be the input now Yes. The day and another. So day. Why you want the day? So yes, yes. Yeah. So yeah. So if I say that, so if I say that, this is my output. If this is my input, things are done. Now here comes the recurrent relationship. This is the first time we have come up with the. This is by the way not the back propagation thing. Is the actually only. back propagation happens like this but things the output is going to be again fed as the input and this is done you do not require anything other than that if i tell you chicken then you directly say that chicken then after this after this then this you just have to initiate what is the initial thing you want to say you want to say chicken oh what about the thing that you want to say after that cycle will be repeated keep on repeating so <coughs> so here it's actually the um <coughs> recurrent relationship that we have and uh, by the way this was actually the yeah so this is the recurrent relationship slides may be redundant because it's from a youtube lecture so that is why too many slides are there um so this is actually the recurrent rnn for you but again if i see that how can i model this type of network is going to be that these are the three vectors again for the food now weather is definitely not going to be there inside can you see that this is my network this is my model who can justify this model 
This is a specific type of matrix. Do you know? I, I, I will show you this matrix, but do you know that this is actually a very specific type of matrix in linear algebra? <coughs> this is actually called as, a, yes, permutation matrix. This is permutation matrix. If you have a <coughs> vector like this, if you have a vector like this to, which is input, given input to this, it will convert into another vector which is essentially another permutation of 1, 0, 0. And it keep on doing it. But what is this permutation which is happening inside? What is this permutation which is happening inside? Let us see. <coughs> you Actually, you know, but I just have to show that thing again. So, this is A, B and C. So, when you multiply, this thing is multiplied by this and you will get the first value over here and then you have the second one and then you have the third one yes so suppose that here if i have a just i write a b and c so this a b and c first this will get multiplied by this this will get multiplied by this and this will get multiplied by this Who is going to be alive? Or other things are zero. Only the last value. So here you will be getting C. Then you will be getting. Then you will be getting. And why it has happened? Let us see. Why it has happened? It has happened because of first. Because when you multiply this, only the third element is going to be there and that is going to be here. Then first, then second, which essentially mean that whatever you give, I will write the third one. Then I will write the second, then I will write the first. Whatever you give, I will do it like this. Yes. Sorry, sorry. It has to be 3, 3, 1 and 2. 3, 1 and 2. That is why it is actually a permutation. At the third place here it is 1. First place it is 1. Second place it is 1. You have got a very specific type of permutation. Why you require this type of permutation? Because, because when I give you 1, 0, 0. Then you wanted to make it as 0, 1, 0. Then you wanted to make it as 0, 0, 1. Because there is a cycle that you wanted to come up with. This is actually the mapping function. Here, anyways, it's a matrix multiplication. But if I take a vector and multiply with it, it will actually just only permute. And the whatever the inputs that you have, they are nothing but different permutations that you have. This is the permutation that you want from you want a function which will take this and convert it into this which will take this and convert it into this and take this and convert it into this this matrix is able to do things but so if this is the case then again this is the model for you and uh, same thing it has shown that it will work and you all understand but if i see this thing as a neural network <coughs> If I see this thing as a neural network, it is my neural network. Is it okay for everyone? Again, because, because here you can see that this point is coming over here, this is coming over here, and this is going over there. Remaining things are anyway zero. So, it was, if it is say 1, 0, 0, 1 will come over here. If it is a 0, 1, 0, this one will come over here. And the same thing, if you see that how this being drawn, this is actually our permutation matrix. Given this permutation matrix, this is our neural network. And what was our neural, what is our recurrent, sorry, what is our uh, uh, model? It's a permutation matrix. What it is doing, this is actually a recurrent neural network. Whatever the thing that you want, the only thing which is left is that what is the input 
the input is actually the output so if i if i redraw it this is my actual the simple permutation matrix got connected from the outputs is actually connected to input this is a very simple example till now you understand that if there is a relationship like this can be modeled and handled like this now let us see it slightly different now the point is that the same guy your good friend he can cook for you but he is going to cook something so if it is sunny he likes to move out and he is not going to cook if it is sunny he will not be cooking and giving you some leftover last day thing things if it is sunny i am not cooking i am going to give you whatever the thing which was free where i mean last day thing it's going to repeat or if it is rainy i will i will prepare the next dish in that order it's slightly different relationship you understand relationship is okay to everyone gitanjali you understand yes so our this is our relationship that now we wanted to model how can we model this thing this is the stuff that you wanted to model again understand that if it is sunny i am not cooking <coughs> last thing is going to be repeated if it is rain you are going to get something which is i mean last day thing is going to be permuted by your permutation matrix to get the next thing clear uh, you sh clear <coughs> so monday if it is say apple pie so if suppose that on tuesday the weather is sunny what you are going to get apple pie so 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 remember remember this is actually the weather of tuesday which we are drawing over here so this apple pie the same thing is being repeated and then wednesday the weather is rainy so you will get something else but what is other thing it has to be in that order itself so after apple pie you will be get up getting a burger after apple pie either you will get an apple pie or you are going to get a burger after burger either you are going to get another burger or you are going to get a chicken so this order cycle has to be repeated but it's having another input previously there was no input now there is an input as well that's what's the weather today now the problem is again simple and understood now you understand the same thing but here you are going to get an input here an input is going to be the weather itself and if you tell me that what is the initial thing and if you tell me that what is the weather you are going to tell me that what is going to be the next day thing and so on <clears throat> so how we can model this thing using our recurrent neural network let us see again it is very simple first thing is that i am augmenting these two matrices it's a top up and down two matrices they are being concatenated how they are being concatenated first what is this first matrix is second matrix is first is identity second one is permutation if i take a vector <coughs> if i take things like this this is my food matrix and this is my food vectors if i take my food matrix like this so this is going to be what this is going to be 6 cross 3 this is 3 cross 1 so you are going to get a 6 cross 1 thing so given this food matrix given this input vector if i multiply Tell me that what is this thing that you are going to get always same? same. What you are going to get over here? Yes. The next thing. So you remember that what you are going to get as your food, either the same thing or the next thing. Now there has to be some vector or some someone who can choose between them. How you are choosing? You are going to choose that with respect to the weather. If your weather is sunny, if your weather is sunny, then this is the thing. and if your weather is you know uh, rainy then this is the thing okay so this is my food matrix it's actually an augmentation of two matrices and you are going to get a 
something by something by something <coughs> then okay so same same thing is actually being shown now suppose that this is my food matrix we are done with this let us see our another matrix uh, it is showing it multiple times now this is our weather matrix this one what you can see about this weather matrix is this or this and that is why it has to be not multiplied but added what it is doing it is selecting either above or below of the same thing either this thing is active or this thing is active it's it's going to add both of them so so this is my weather so first of all given this weather given this weather matrix if i take 10 or 01 and multiply what you are going to get first of all if it is say 10 if it is 1 and 0 like this then this will be selected if it is 0 and 1 then this is going to be selected yes and it is going to be added to whom to the food matrix so there either upper part is going to come or the below part that is the thing that we wanted to know so your weather is actually going to be doing a type of selection between the two foods depending upon your weather if your weather is sunny you are going to select the above thing otherwise you going to select the below thing so so if this is i mean it's very easy now to formulate this within 2 minutes we can do that so you have got your food then you add and then you got this weather matrix and and you add both of them it's showing too many things so i'm i'm skipping that stuff so you have got this food matrix you have got this weather matrix and given this thing when when you actually add both of them you are going to get something like this it's not that it's just have selected it's actually selecting the zeros and i mean either selecting the adding something to the above part or adding something to the lower part and the point is that after that we want what we want we want that if it is say above thing then it has to be the same food value below thing the same food value but you are not getting this food value to convert it into a food value some type of non linearity and you remember that non linearity definitely have to be used somehow in between the non linearity is actually that out of this whatever the output that i get here it's going to be a max i will, i just want to find out what is the maximum and my output should have to be so suppose that this is my maximum i want one over here and other things remains to be zero now this is the output that you are looking for yes or no essentially you want a max function so that that is actually the non linearity but how can we do this max and do this non linearity so this is what it actually says that we wanted to do the non linearity which is being done using the merge operation which says that once you got this non linearity what is the output you have got two things above and below what is the output your output is this thing how to get this thing out of your you know both of these uh, six dimensional vector you only want how many dimensions three dimensions so it has to be added like this now can i add things like this in 2d i mean via matrix multiplication yes so it's being done so that's actually the merge operation so somehow what i wanted to do that once i get this once i get this i wanted to add both of them how to add you take this thing and it's going to add the things for you you understand why because this is also the same thing this is also the same I mean, both of them are actually uh you need uh, what you say identity matrices if you take this thing and get this thing multiplied so this was actually what this was actually 6 cross 1 and this is going to be uh, uh what uh this is our 3 cross 6 so they have shown that if you take this 
and multiplied with this i think i'm run out of time so in probably in the next lecture i will show that how this neural network is being built so essentially the logic that 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 we here wanted to say is that uh, how recurrent relationship can actually be learned using these matrices that's the first thing and the the values which are coming inside sometimes i say 0 1 and permutation matrix and identity matrix and so on our network has to understood and learn all those parameters on its own that's the basic rnn for you from this we will start how our rnn is actually built